Sup, 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 YouTube. My name is Rue for the Gaming Council. And today we are playing some new Halo MCC, that beautiful Halo 1. Now, before this video gets completely started, let me just mainly point out that I actually recorded this video prior to the release of Halo 5, so anything I may mention about Halo 5, it's because obviously the game has yet to launch when I recorded this audio. Just so you know. I actually screwed up on my shot there, but that's okay. Um, picked up the kill at least <laughs> we both died to it halo one's very very fun this guy's trying to jump up here i'm just gonna show him how to do it oh that's how you do it it's just so smooth so good now even with the launch of halo 5 i honestly still want to play me some halo mcc it's the only only real way we're going to be able to play halo 1 halo 2 halo 3 halo 4 which i don't think many people really cared for halo 4. i mean it was a good game don't get me wrong it just wasn't up to the quote-unquote Halo standards. So it's kind of the reason why. I still want to support the MCC even after Halo 5, you know, comes out. I still want to play it. I still want to go back for my Halo 1, my Halo 2, my Halo 3. Because those are fun times. Halo 4, maybe once in a while. I'm not gonna lie, maybe once in a while. Halo 5 looks to be pretty much what I've always wanted Halo 4 to be. And I'm okay, uh, like I played in the beta, it was fun. But what I'm going to just basically point out here, look at this kill. Oh, just bit smacked back of your head like a ninja. I'm actually looking for these guys. I believe, yeah, I picked up the health pack. I thought I picked up the overshield there. I didn't. I, I mean, just like, it's the experiences of Halo 1. I'm just grenade spamming now. It's the experience. There he is. There he is. Shoot him. Shoot. There we go. I picked up double kill. So it's the experiences of Halo 1 that you really don't, like in this generation of consoles and whatnot and just in general you really don't get to go back and play and i was saying to a friend of mine that's kind of the part of the reason i like the appeal of csgo where people you know just like it's such a like so many people playing it because it's fun there's no power-ups there's no anything now i'm not saying that's a bad thing with halo 5 by any stretch of the imagination the original quintessential thing of halo 1 which we're playing today and we're theme of this video is that Halo Evolve, you know, it's combat evolved. Before, I'm just fucking like all these shots into the fourth shot. Like, before Halo 1 dropped, everything was, I can carry like 5,000 weapons because I'm just, I, I'm god tier, like, dude, dude. Halo comes in, you have shields, you have, you know, this way of making it work on consoles, and there wouldn't be a Call of Duty on consoles if it wasn't for Halo. And, like, seriously, I, I get that people don't completely enjoy sci-fi shooters, but you always gotta thank Halo for leading the way, you know, opening that front door. Now, there may have been another shooter to do so. Maybe Half-Life would have came on, or maybe Doom would have been an Xbox port, and it would have been the way we played it. But it could have been just another game, but it was Halo. So history books go down saying it was Halo. MLG, Halo. So that's why I always want to go back and support the classic Halo stuff. Even though I enjoy the living hell out of the new Halos. Even though I will play the living hell out of Halo 5. Even though I will do rec pack openings from basically playing the living shit out of the game and getting the credit to buy it and trying to entertain you guys at the same light, I will still play some MCC because I enjoy it. And I think that's what, as gamers, we want to do the most. We actually put out pretty good content for you guys, at least. I don't know if that guy was lagging or what was going on, but boom, Negro kill. Um, so, I'm just going to teabag him. I don't teabag often, but I figure it was just ponage, and uh, it was a good time to teabag. It was just too in the moment. But I just want to go back and support those games, especially on this channel. I don't want to just be putting out Halo 5 content because it's a new game. I don't want to put out just Call of Duty content because it's a new game. I want to put out games that I enjoy. I'm not saying I won't put out those new kind of games. I'm not saying that I'm not going to give you different kind of commentary. I'm not going to say I'm only going to give you one way. I'm going to give you everything. As much as possible. Humanly possible with all the channels that I run. Because I love you guys. Even right now, that there's 88 of you that the channel launches today when I record this. And this is probably going out like tomorrow. Because, I'm, you know, every subscriber, whether it be 10,000, whether it be 500, whether it be whatever the number is, they seem to matter, well, they seem to, they just matter to me. I have a bad way of phrasing things, for whatever reason I do. But, Halo MCC, I have a lot of mem memories with, a lot of bad ones, but some good ones now, because obviously I'm just to play the little crap out of it. To the point that, obviously, I can enjoy myself. That Needler from the Grave Kill. 
such a sacky gun. Such a sacky gun. And honestly, even with the approach of Halo 5, I'm so excited. I'm glad that people are excited. The community is excited again for this game. And they see that 343 has changed their ways. And they understand, well, most people, that, you know, Halo MCC was five different video game engines running as one on an Xbox One that originally these game engines weren't supposed to run on. Trying to code them all for it is a shit ton of demanding work that should have came out, like, I don't know, two years from now. When it was completely ready, but obviously, it wasn't. And that was their mistake, but it seems like they have learned from it. It really does, and even MLG is excited for that, and I think that we can all be excited for it. I'm enjoying MCC even though it has problems, even though obviously, there are certain things that still bug me. Just like that. Which, I didn't see where the, where the shot came from, but maybe he was up on top. I'm not 100% sure. Oh, no, he was invisible. Okay, that's fine. But I picked up the revenge kill and the kill from the grave with the pistol. Take that, Mikey, for, for telling me that you, need, you needed me to kill someone with a pistol in the grave. There you go. It, Mikey just it was basically telling me to do it, so I wanted, to, I wanted to do it to entertain you guys, and I'm glad I was able to. But I wasn't just set out in this, this one to do it. I'm actually just waiting for my shield to pop up. I'm not trying to camp. I'm just really trying to wait for my shield to pop up. So I don't want to just give you one kind of commentary. I don't want to give you one game commentary. I don't want to be known as that one game YouTuber. Game YouTuber. Just making sure that I phrase that correctly. I don't want you guys just like only knowing that I'm just going to give you like giant montages of me massively killing everyone. I will do it once in a while. I will give you playthroughs. I will give you multiplayer stuff. It just the forefront of this channel is going to be forged on that. No pun intended because I know Halo. So a lot of people are saying that when Halo 5 comes out, it's going to be boring. It's only going to get two game modes. But we are getting Halo 5 a week before Call of Duty. A lot of people are going to want to play new Call of Duty because they play Call of Duty. It's what they're comfortable in. That zombies, that beautiful kill, though. I don't think I even missed a shot on that kill. That is just beautiful, all in the head. And the week after that, we have Battlefront and Fallout 4 and Tomb Raider. These are all great games. Now, there's probably some other games I'm, like, leaving out. And I think around the same time, we have Bloodborne DLC coming out. And besides Bloodborne DLC coming out, there's everything you have yet to catch up on. There's everything else. Look at that sniper rifle. I got it over here by throwing grenades. Just beautiful. I chucked so many grenades up there just to bring it over. I just threw a grenade down to be cautious. I didn't know where they were spawning. And I'm just trying to figure out exactly where they're spawning. I'm just going to stay up here with the sniper rifle. Not going to completely camp. I'm going to move around. But I fuck up so many shots with the Halo 1 sniper rifle because I'm not too familiar with it because the only real time I got to play with it was mouse and the keyboard because if you were like me and you play the original Halo 1, you had to like, go to your friend's house to play it. And um, during those days, I didn't have nearly as much time as I seem to now when it comes to making free time because oof, those days uh, those days were hectic. But the overshield respawned in. I'm going to want to go down there. I stupidly go down there. Before my health, like, before the grenade goes off, because the stickies always take longer. I'm gonna bust out the sniper, see if I can get a nice kill here. Can I get a nice kill? I actually have, like, a nine-second clip that I, eventually I gotta throw in somewhere. But I have it on Facebook. That I just, like, I, I get this nice sniper kill with it. And so I can do those nice shots. I can, I can do it. Boom! Boom! Wreckage is real! Thank you guys for watching. That, uh, that no-scope. That no-scope. Thanks for watching.